So back when I was 12 and 13, uh, there were a few events in my life that happened that kind of uh, had me step back from my religion and faith a little bit more than what I wanted. Um, I really didn't get more into detail and thought about my religion until I actually came to Briarcliff as a freshman. Uh, a few of my friends um, I sh shared with me their journey and I kind of thought about that a little bit and was getting a little bit more curious and wanted to know a little bit more details. Uh, and those same friends that had shared that with me uh, were always asking me to come to church with them um, on Sundays and I never really gave it much thought until one day I said, you know what, I'm going to go. I want to know what it is that they've been talking about and I want to experience it for myself. So my first experience at Sunnybrook was a little different uh, from the uh, church that I'm uh, familiar with. Um, but by the time the service had ended and uh, I had kind of uh, had a, a grip on what I had just experienced and everything, I honestly could not wait until next Sunday when I had a chance to go back. So the first time I heard about immersion baptism uh, was actually at a college ministry uh, youth leadership night at our uh, leader Matt Holmes' house. Um, he was talking about immersion baptisms and uh, right away when he had mentioned it, it uh, struck my curiosity and I knew that it was something I wanted to do, uh, especially after I had just accepted Christ into my life and I thought it would be uh, a great uh, another step uh, in the right and positive direction of my life and I knew that it was something I really wanted to do. It's crazy to look back on the emptiness I had in my life at one point when I was younger to when I accepted Christ into my life and to publicly profess my faith with so many important people in my life that were there, it, it meant a whole lot. And when I finally came out of the water, I felt so free.